Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, let's take a tour of the Simago website. Simago is a resource from a group of researchers in Madrid, and it is based on Scopus data. And it has a lot of cool tools for potential authors and researchers who are interested in exploring journals. Today I'll be talking about looking at and for journals, although there are plenty of other tools on the Samago website, but I'll save those for another time. So Samago is free, and here I am on the home page, and we see the search box in the middle where we can enter a journal title, an eight-digit international standard serial number, the ISSN, or a publisher name, so we can search that way. And then a little bit about what Samago is for. You can find journal ranks, country ranks, viz tools, and some cool recent projects. I'll scroll up to the top. I just want to show you the About Us page. So this is where they explain who they are, where they're from, how to cite the website. Let's go back to the home page. And I'm going to search in the search box for occupational therapy journals. And we are going to see some ads on this site. I noticed when I was looking at it earlier. So that's unfortunate, but it's probably how they keep the site going. Here we are on the list of results. We see the first one is the American Journal of Occupational Therapy, and we see more journals related to occupational therapy. I'll pick the first one. I've seen it a lot. And here we get a little dashboard. So we can see what country this journal is published in, what the publication type is. We can see the subject area and categories. In this case, it falls into two, both health professions and medicine. We see that eight-digit ISSN number. The publisher, in this case, it's the American Occupational Therapy Association. The coverage from 1947 through the last year, 2021, an H index, which you may be familiar with for individual authors. In this case, it's a measure of roughly the same metric, which is the number of publications and the number of times cited. And then we see information for getting to that journal and how to publish in the journal and contact information for the journal. I'll scroll down past the ads and we see more about the scope of the journal. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see a couple more things on our little dashboard here. So these blocks are referring to quartiles, quartiles one through four. And they are reflective of the journal's Samago journal rank. Samago journal rank is a numeric value representing the average number of weighted citations received during a selected year per document published in that journal during the previous three years. So we can see that the journal has ranked in quartile one for all of these years in the subject of occupational therapy, but in the subject of medicine, it has fallen into both quartile one, the top 25%, as well as quartile two, 26 through 50%. And let's scroll down. And I like everything we see here. So find similar journals. This is showing you journals where you can publish your work the similarity is expressed as a percentage of reference publications shared between the select journal and similar ones in descending order. So it makes sense that these journals listed here would have similar publications. Let's keep scrolling down. And I like this. Let me see if I can close the ad. Not really. So here on this dashboard, we see the journal's Simago journal rank. And so we can see that it has gone up and down over the years up through 2020. We can receive this information in both graph or table form. If you'd prefer to see it in a table form, you can do that. We can see the total number of documents in the American Journal of Occupational Therapy over the years, the citations per document, number of citations, and the year, the external citations per document versus the sites per document, total sites versus the self-sites, the percentage of international collaboration, the number of citable documents. If you hover over any one point, you'll see the numbers. The cited versus unsighted documents. And the last two things you see here are a really neat little widget in HTML that you could copy and paste into a website, and then some links to their new data visualization tool. Now, based on the scope of my videos, I'm not going to explore that today. 
So you see that Simago gives you a really nice overview of any particular journal. There are other ways to look for journals in Simago and compare them to each other, so feel free to do some exploring on your own, or stay tuned for a future 5-Minute Friday. If you're looking for journals in which to publish your research, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.